and we're going to replace the TCC apply valve in the pump. You do not need to remove the pump to replace this valve or the booster valve. You could get to both of them through the pan, which means you do not need to remove the transmission. I had to modify my pliers a little bit. I, squeezing them together wouldn't squeeze this enough, so I cut the insides of both sides of the pliers so they get squeezed closer together. Now if everything goes right, we should turn this over. Got the valve or a valve it's inside here. Right there. We're going to pull these springs out next. Then they have a spring set. There's two springs right there. Take like that. Next, we're going to push the pin out right here that is holding the spring in. Use a screwdriver to press down on your spring. Maybe. All right, so this check pin or pin goes through here, holds a spring into place. Inside here is a ball. And all we want to do is make sure that it's free of debris inside there. And uh, just nice and clean. That's it. Clean it out if you need to. If this is all dirty like it is get this cleaned out and then come back for more but well, it's real simple it's right here uh, side of the pump got my pliers You have another little valve in here. It's got grease in it, but there is a valve in there. You got a couple springs inside here as well. This has a shift kit in it too, the Transgo shift kit. These, both these springs are part of the shift kit. Put the valve back in. When you originally install this, with that valve in the inside, use some assembly lube to hold that valve inside the booster valve. 